Hello everybody. Uh, so today I'm actually here to talk about something called coping skills. Um, I've started to get into making some, I guess, self-help videos and um, mental health and autism awareness. And uh, coping skills are an important thing when it comes to our mental health. Um, coping skills are how we manage and deal with emotions in a positive and healthy way. It's what gets us through the bad times. Um, and I'm going to make a video and I'm just going to tell you guys uh, a few positive coping skills. We're going to name about 10 here. Um, we're going to start with uh, taking up a new hobby is a positive coping skill. You're learning a new skill. You're finding something new you might enjoy and getting into um, and refocusing your energy uh, when you're doing that. And that's a great thing. Um, singing can be a very positive coping skill. I don't know about you, but when I blast music in the car, I feel way better. Now, the thing about coping skills is what works for one person might not work for another. Sometimes you have to try several, um, especially on a bad day. So if singing doesn't help you today, maybe painting rocks, which is another coping skill, will help you tomorrow. Um, I actually love to paint. That's a really good fun activity for me. Um, planting can be like a positive coping skill, planting some seeds. It's also really great for the environment. So that's just kind of good overall. Um, playing with a pet is a good coping skill. You also don't feel as alone when you're playing with your pet, uh, whether that's your cat, your dog, hermit crab, lizards, because there are some outside the box pets as some might call them like i like guinea pigs playing with them was positive for me um rodents terrify my mother to her guinea pigs are rodent um they're actually technically not they're a, a cavy i believe um but to my mom they're rodents and they were scary that would not be a positive coping skill for my mom that would be uh run in terror and hide that's what that's what that would be she'd be She'd be crying uh, some tears. Seeing a movie can be a positive coping skill. It's a really good distraction. It can uplift your whole mood. Um, and honestly, the popcorn's good. Popcorn goes great with a movie. Um, so for some, that's a positive coping skill. Um, when I'm feeling down, I love to have a movie night with my mom. We get some popcorn, we uh, talk, we chat. Um, we hang out, we get a little bit of candy, some root beer floats. Um, to do some like self care, you can give yourself a facial. Uh, that can be a really good coping skill. And sometimes when you feel good or you look good or uh, it can boost your mood, at least for me. If I paint my nails, I can feel a little more confident that day. Um, so that can be a really good uh, coping skill. Smiling at five people or doing a random act of kindness. You're going to feel less alone and you're doing something positive. You know, you should be the change you want to see in the world. Um, so both of those really good coping skills um kind of drawing can be a good coping skill putting a puzzle together if you know that's more your style um that can be a really fun way to kind of de-stress be really in the moment it can be relaxing up uh, for others it can be really frustrating it depends on the person um Stretching, walking, those are both really good coping skills. Um, I think at this point I've named more than 10. Um, my goal was to name 10, but we, we went over. Uh, to text or to call a friend is another good coping skill. Uh, when we're down, we tend to like isolate, but that doesn't always make you feel better. Uh, sometimes we do need our alone time to recharge. Other times we need to reach out to those we care about. 
Um, and it can really change your whole day, especially if it's like a really positive friend for you. Um, if it's not, then <laughs> you should get out and meet positive, healthy people for you. Um, cause I think if somebody's encouraging you to do something that isn't good for you or healthy for you, then they're not the right company for you. Um, and cooking a meal can be a really positive coping skill. Now, my dad loves to cook, and whenever he's down, he likes to gather everyone at the table and cook. And that's one of the things I love about him. His, you know, he likes to see everyone smile and ooh and ah over his food. And we always do. He's a good cook. Um, so, uh, and it makes everyone else smile. We're all laughing, having a good time. Um, and that can be a really positive uh, coping skill. Um, so we'll make another video soon going over some more. Uh, but this is kind of just a start. Uh, to teach you guys about some coping skills and some ones that might work for you. Like I said, different coping skills work for different people. So if you're stressed, you're anxious, and these just aren't working for you, there is a whole bunch more. I literally have a list of 99 coping skills, 99 right here. So there's a whole bunch of things that you can do. And there's more than that than what's on that list. So don't be afraid to try new ones. This is just something in your toolbox so to say, to kind of help you feel better in a bad moment. Um, because usually it is just a bad moment. Uh, whatever emotions you're feeling then are temporary. Um, and I want to stress that things will, they'll improve for you. Things will change. Um, and on that note, I hope everyone's having a really good day. Bye everyone.